Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NFL Packers at Texans. We've got a promo code for you guys. Use the code BIG10, B I G T E N, if you want 20% off the entire site at Picks and Parlays. The Packers are favored in this one, minus three and a half. The total is 56 and a half, a really high number. We've got Sean Higgs joining us for this one. Packers are coming off a 38 to 10 loss to the Bucks, but the Packers are still four and one straight up and against the number. Meanwhile, the lowly Texans are one and five, both straight up and against the spread. So, Sean, where are you leaning? Both of these clients. You know, I had the over in that Green Bay game, and it's 10 nothing early. I'm thinking, here comes our shootout. Then it's 38-10. I'm thinking, I just need a touch. Can we get a touchdown somewhere along the way? I had the Texans. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Losing my six and over. I mean, let's go, let's go for two, not go for two. What? This is 2020. Hello. Hello, 2020. Like, uh, uh, where am I leaning this? I like the total. Over 56 and a half. I'm already on the over the first half, 26, 26 and a half, 27. Go over. Uh, you know, anytime I can get a guy like Aaron Rodgers off a crap game like that where he's throwing back-to-back pick sixes or almost uh, back-to-back pick sixes, just a bad game, you know he's going to come out like the animal he is and rip roar and against this defense it's like a wet bag it can't even hold an apple the texans no wonder why he's gonna go for he, he knew he's like we gotta go because our defense we we can't stop anything so listen i think roger's gonna throw four or five touchdown passes and watson's gonna probably throw a couple too you know he's good for three here i think because as bad as this team is it, we've seen it the offenses it's just so geared to the offenses you feel bad for defensive players so i'm thinking it's a wild one here i won't be surprised like 44 35 type game like 56 i think the total should be like closer to 70 honestly the texas defense is that bad and i got a hall of fame quarterback off a crap game yeah i think he's going to come out on something to prove and i got a decent running back there too and green bay is going to get some touches to loosen things up i mean we saw henry go for what 100 yards on one run i mean it's uh, do they not cover running backs in Houston? Was it against the law down there? Well, Derrick Henry yeah. is not your average running back, I will say. But I do think this is a nice bounce back spot for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is usually really good against bad defenses because I think we saw against the Bucks that when you go against a defense that has a really good run defense, it can make your game one-dimensional, and then Aaron Rodgers is trying a, a little too hard, I think, to make things happen, and that's when it spells disaster for Rodgers, I think he's going to be a lot better in this one. Based on this Texans defense, I don't know about the Packers defense. I don't know how many stops that they're going to be making. But if you're in a shootout, I think the Packers are going to come out on top on this one. I don't think I'd want to be involved in a shootout with Aaron Rodgers. So I like the Packers covering the number minus three and a half. Also been a really good cover team this season. Four and one against the spread. So yeah, I'm not overthinking it. Let's go back. Yeah. I mean, don't don't let them try to scare you with that hook. Like, oh, I'll take that three and a half. Like, it's going to come. Th- come on. You know, if you like Green Bay, they're going to win by double digits. Don't worry about that half point there, people. Take Green Bay for Chelsea. Take you over me and make some money on Sunday. Well, and especially because Aaron Rodgers is one of those guys that is out to prove something. You always hear his snide little remarks when people ask him about things, saying stuff like, oh, well, my down year is the best year for a lot of quarterbacks out there. So I think he's going to come off uh, that loss to the Bucs and really want to prove something here. Well, that's going to do it for our Packers and Texans stock here on Picks and Parlays. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining us, Sean Higgs. Good stuff as always.